we take you to the pits. Men in jumpsuits fueled by adrenaline in a feat of strength and speed. And right by their side, a trailblazing woman, proving she can handle the pressure with millions watching on a NASCAR track. ABC's Steve Osinsami has her story. There's a revolution happening in NASCAR today. <laughs> and her name is Christmas. <laughs> You're the real deal. I think so. <laughs> Uh, you know, you can't really fake strength. While the track has certainly seen a few women drivers at elite levels, never before has a woman muscled her way into one of the physically demanding roles in the pit, where in less than 12 seconds they fuel the car and change the tires. It's a crucial job in a multi-billion dollar business. Just a few extra seconds at a pit stop and their driver loses. I just like the way she moves around the car. 30-year-old Christmas Abbott is that special woman working the front tire position. And in these recorded practices that they study each night, her times are within milliseconds of the big leagues. She was recruited after an audition and says she's so competitive she was drawn to the high stakes of racing. Five three. So, okay, let's take a look. Let's see. How, how, how these are with, with heels These are with heels. <laughs> But don't let her looks fool you. She's an incredible brand of athlete who's built her body through intense workouts and crazy competitions like this one, carrying a 125 pound friend with one arm and a 70 pound dumbbell with the other, nearly twice her weight. My body is developing into this very precise machine where whatever I want to do, ultimately I will be able to. At first, her pit crew coach wasn't so sure. To be honest with you, I, I thought it was a publicity stunt. You know what I mean? And, uh, and I wanted no part of it. And I think I was convinced when I saw her. Christmas has her detractors in the garage, the men who whisper that she won't last and who appreciate her for all the wrong reasons. But she doesn't care. I feel like I'm bringing something huge to the sport, but this is ultimately much bigger than me. I find that those things that scare you most are the most rewarding once you've conquered them. Steve Ozinsami, ABC News, Charlotte.